up beautiful people it's your girl Janiah Leah and welcome or welcome back to my channel so as y'all can see by the title and the thumbnail today I'm gonna be doing some you know nice cute summer Fulani braids on my hair and when I tell y'all I can't even explain I can't even begin to explain how long I have been waiting to do these braids and so today I'm gonna be giving y'all a little in-depth tutorial on this style and so before we get into it I'm gonna show y'all all the things I'm gonna be using in this video all the tools all the little products and so let's first things first I love using this little thing my little it's called like a thread rack or whatever because it's really for like sewing thread and whatnot but I use it for hair and they also have bigger ones I was thinking about getting me a bigger one so it can have more hair on it um, but I'm gonna be using that I have three pack of expressions uh, 52 inch and then one three pack of this sensational hair in the color vintage rose because I couldn't find the pink that I wanted and then the gel that I'm gonna be using to make sure my braids are nice and sleek is this lock-in gel and so I love this is like the best gel when it comes to like twisting locks and braiding. And so with that being said, I got my little comb and we're gonna go ahead and get into this tutorial. Okay, y'all. So first things first for this style, the very first thing that I did is kind of did a part across half of my head. So I split my hair in half. Um, I guess that's horizontally and it wasn't perfect because obviously i can't see the back of my head but basically doing this style try to get it as straight as possible because this is going to kind of signify the end of your cornrows and where your knotless braids are going to begin so if you kind of want more knotless braids and you know shorter cornrows um then of course your front half should be shorter than the back half because then that way you'll have more room for more knotless braids and whatnot but yeah so that's what my part looks like. Told y'all I wasn't perfect, but yeah. Now I'm going from there, as y'all can see, I went ahead and parted off my first row for my knotless braids. And the size knotless I'm going to be doing, I'm doing like medium knotless. Because I was not trying to sit here and <laughs> do a whole bunch of small knotless in my hair. Because that wasn't the, you know, star of the show. So with that being said, I'm doing medium knotless. And I do have a detailed knotless braid tutorial on my channel if y'all need a more in-depth knotless braid. But the way I do that is literally I start my plait, like barely kind of <laughs> do the first part of the plait. And then I feed in one piece. And then I do one more like kind of plait, then feed another piece, and then one more plait, and then feed in one more piece and so basically when I do my knotless braids I only feed in three pieces so that's like a piece per strand of your hair and then if you want to add on length I just add I feed in pieces for length like later on in the braid so the braids aren't too thick but yeah once again if y'all need a super in-depth tutorial of exactly what that looks like and what I just said I have a video about that on my channel Once I finished all my knotless braids, it was time for the cornrows and the way that I learned to do my cornrows is always do split down the middle first and so this is so that when you start your braids, you're starting in the middle and that's going to ensure that one, your braids are not like crooked or have a really bad angle to them and that they're also kind of, I guess aligned because I used to start my braids kind of from the ear going up and what you'll learn is when you're doing that sometimes if you don't get that first like angle or whatever on that very first ear braid correct that can potentially cause your um braids to be a little crooked or just not how you really wanted them parted so off center kind of as well and so yeah I always start from the middle and to make this easier I went ahead and sectioned my hair into four different sections and the reason I did this is because I knew for sure that I I believe I wanted to have about eight braids on each side and so I was like okay so that'll be what maybe two braids per um two braids basically per part and so that definitely made this like way easier just kind of making my parting job easy and also keeping me on track when it comes to the braids as well.
so when you're braiding your feed-in braids this is very 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 similar to what it's like doing knotless braids and so the way I do like my feed-ins is especially you know these are a little skinny so the way I do these is on the very like beginning so basically the closest part to your edges I literally first of all part that off separately and kind of start a plait just with that hair right there because that's kind of you know what I'm kind of getting my grip from and that's also the beginning of the braid so you want that to look really really defined and not just like oh yeah I slick some gel or whatever so yeah so I start doing that and then I start doing like a cornrow with my natural hair and then you'll see I literally start feeding in pieces like literally off one finger and so I feed in like super small pieces so that way the braid looks like it's gradually growing and it didn't just go from skinny to fat like all in one and so then once I do that it's literally just like a regular braid and then we're gonna feed in pieces for length just as I would with the knotless braids. Okay y'all, so I went ahead and added my little beads on off camera cause it dang near took forever. But luckily I didn't have too too many braids. But y'all, here is the final look. And get into it first of all, just get into the braids. Like, I love it. I love it, it looks amazing. So with that being said, thank y'all so so much for tuning into this video. Hopefully this really helps some of y'all out and some of y'all gonna go ahead and get into the braids, huh? Like, don't don't play with her do not play with her and this did not take long at all um in the front so i know y'all gonna ask i have i split it up well y'all saw in the video but i split it up literally eight on one half eight on the other half and in the back y'all i didn't really add too much care and concern to the back i kind of just did you know some bigger uh medium slash large knotless type braids or whatever like i said 
not too too much concern let me see how many i got uh, 21 total knotless braids in the back which is not a lot at all so with that being said those are the details as far as it goes how many braids i have in my head because i know some of y'all gonna ask me but y'all i'm just happy to finally have my summer my summer cornrows in like that's all. That's it. Make sure if y'all are enjoying yourselves on my channel and y'all are really getting into these hair videos, click that subscribe button down below. If this tutorial was helpful for you, if you like the way this hairstyle came out, click that subscribe button down below. Also, if you decide to try this style, let me know down in the comment section below how it comes out for you and if you kind of really like. I was thinking um, when they start to get old, I'm probably just going to refresh like the front part. I may even change the colors a little bit but ciao i'm gonna try to hang on to these as long as i can but with that being said thank y'all so so much for tuning in you already know click smash smack that subscribe button down below and i will see y'all on my next video